What's up, Cereal Heads? Today we're gonna talk about Scooby-Doo cereal, or actually Scooby-Doo cereals, because there's been a few of them. Now, I would hope and assume that you're already familiar with Scooby-Doo cartoons, but just in case you're not, let me give you a brief recap and explanation. This will be far from comprehensive, just the basics. Scooby-Doo was first created back in 1969 with the first official series called Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? It was a Saturday morning cartoon featuring four teenagers, Fred, Daphne, Velma, and Shaggy, along with their brown talking dog, who is a Great Dane named Scooby-Doo. The group traveled around on their fun van called the Mystery Machine as they solved mysteries, which usually involved supernatural creatures and ghosts who ultimately turned out to be just bad guys when they pulled off their masks and revealed that they would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for those blasted kids and their dog. Now, there have been many iterations of Scooby-Doo and the gang across a number of different Scooby-Doo series. As I said, first there was the Scooby-Doo Where Are You series, which ran from 1969 to 1975. But then following that, there were others, including the Scooby-Doo Show, Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo, Scrappy-Doo was his nephew, I think, right? 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo, What's New Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated, that one was one of my favorites, Be Cool Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo, and this year in 2019, Boomerang will release a new Scooby-Doo series called Scooby-Doo and Guess Who. You can also watch many of the old episodes and series on Boomerang if you have it. It's a great streaming service if you're looking for old Saturday morning cartoons. And also we can't forget in 2002, there was a live action version of Scooby-Doo starring Freddie Prince Jr., Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and Matthew Lillard as Shaggy. And Lillard would subsequently go on to do the voice for Shaggy in the animated Scooby series after Casey Kasem stepped away and then died in 2014. But it was around that time in 2002 when Cartoon Network started running old syndicated episodes of Scooby-Doo to ride the resurgent wave of popularity created by the live action movie. And wanting to get in on that popularity, Kellogg's released the Cinnamon Marshmallow Scooby-Doo cereal around that time. You can see on the box here, it features Scooby and Shaggy, the two most popular characters, obviously. And then they have this monster up here saying the cereal's new. I bet if we pulled off his mask, we find just a, an old guy underneath. The cereal itself is crispy, sweetened corn and oat bone-shaped pieces with marshmallows. And the three marbits are Shaggy, the Mystery Machine, which was the van they traveled around in, and a ghost. But that ghost marbit kind of looks like the skeleton head they used in the spooky marbits during Halloween. In fact, Kellogg's even added those skeleton marshmallows to this cereal at one point. Perhaps that was the prelude to their Halloween-themed marbits. Okay, now on the side of this box here, they have a Mystery Machine maze with all the characters featured. You gotta get through this maze from the start all the way down to the Mystery Machine at the bottom. Then on the back, they have a fine Shaggy game. Supposedly, he's hiding from all these monsters because, you know, Shaggy is afraid of his own shadow. You have to spot all 10 Shaggies hiding in this picture. Can you find them? Look closely. I'll give you one second. And boom. There you go, all 10. Next time, hide a little better, Shaggy. And they had a few commercials for this stuff back in 2002. Here's one of them. Cinnamon Marshmallow Scooby-Doo cereal? I'm famous. <laughs> Look, cinnamon Rocky Bones. Mmm. Marshmallow Mystery Machines. Rum, rum. Roast. Six. Shaggies. Roll. It's part of a complete breakfast. New Kellogg's Cinnamon Marshmallow Scooby-Doo Cereal. I wonder where they find these little boggy bones. All right, let's open up this cereal and take a trip back to 2002. So here's what a bowl of Cinnamon Marshmallow Scooby-Doo Cereal looks like. You can see the cereal pieces and the marbits aren't actually that shriveled up. I gotta say, the cereal and the marbits don't look too bad. The pieces still kind of look crunchy and puffy, and you can make out all three marbits the ghost, Shaggy's head, and the mystery machine. Now, in addition to these marbits and the skeleton ones I mentioned earlier, they also added Scooby marshmallows at some point, which seems like ones you probably should have started with. This box also shows they added two more mystery marshmallows at some point, maybe a magnifying glass and some others I can't really make out there. I don't remember this promotion for the cereal, but I do remember when they added Scooby marshmallows. There was even a commercial for it. Check it out. All right, Kellogg Cinnamon Marshmallow Scooby-Doo Cereal Take 22. <laughs> no, Scooby, that's no with Scooby Marshmallows. Take 23, does he have the right script? Mm -hmm. Ruby, Ruby Marshmallow. Scooby Marshmallow. Ruby Marshmallow. Scooby. Ruby Marshmallow. Ruby. Ruby. Marshmallow. Scooby. Scooby. Ruby. Scoob. Ruby. Scooby. Ruby. Ruby. Ah. Kellogg's Cinnamon Marshmallow Scooby-Doo Cereal. It's part of a complete breakfast. Now it's Scooby Marshmallows for a limited time. Just pick it up at Ruby Rarshwell. Ruby Rarshwell. What am I saying? <laughs> Cut. <laughs> All right, so Cinnamon Marshmallow Scooby-Doo Cereal lasted a few years on shelves, 
Then around 2004, they tried their hand at a new Scooby-Doo cereal. This one was called Scooby-Doo Berry Bones. So you can see from the front of the box, this cereal was again bone-shaped pieces, but this time they were berry flavored and there were no marshmallows to be had. The side of the box features some Scooby-Doo trivia. For example, did you know that Daphne writes stories for detective magazines? Or that Velma is the youngest member of the group? or that Shaggy's real name is Norville Rogers. Then on the back of this box, they had a really fun word game. This isn't your regular word search, and this one all the words are bent at 90 degrees as shown here with the word mystery. You have to find all these other words in the word search, and then with the remaining letters left over, you have to unscramble to solve the answer to the question, who always solves the mystery? I'm not gonna go through this word search and find each word, but I'll give you the answer to the question is, those meddling kids. All right, let's open this box up and take a look. So here's what a bowl of 2004 Scooby-Doo Berry Bone Cereal looks like. The purple and pink pieces are cool, and I like berry flavored cereals, but I honestly preferred the original cereal a little more than this one. I don't know why they changed it, actually. Don't kids prefer having marshmallows in cereal? In fact, why didn't they just add Scooby marshmallows to this cereal? It would have made it 10 times better. But hey, you know Kellogg's. Can't count on them to do anything smart or creative. I'm not gonna say it, but you know. Now, I don't remember exactly how long Berry Bone Cereal lasted on shelves, but I think it was discontinued within about a year. And then we wouldn't see another Scooby-Doo cereal until 2013. And honestly, I don't really know why Kellogg's got back on the Scooby train in 2013. Maybe it was due to the popularity of that Mystery Incorporated Scooby-Doo show on Cartoon Network and Boomerang, or maybe kids were just rediscovering Scooby-Doo through old reruns. But whatever the case may be, Kellogg's decided to dumb down their original Cinnamon Marshmallow Scooby-Doo cereal and make this version instead the boringest one of the bunch. This cereal was just crispy, lightly sweetened vanilla flavored bone pieces. The texture wasn't great and the flavor was kind of bland. I get that they were probably trying to be healthier by not including Marbits, but this stuff just fell flat for me. Made me miss the original version more than anything else. The back of this 2013 box features a game. It's kind of like a maze or choose your own adventure where you have to make decisions and you can follow these paths to a bunch of different outcomes. Fun, but not as challenging as that Barry Bones word search. That one would last you through an entire bowl of cereal. And again, I don't remember how long this 2013 Scooby-Doo cereal lasted on shelves, but it's definitely discontinued because I haven't seen it in a few years. So those were the three Scooby-Doo cereals that we've had here in the US. Scooby and his friends are old classic cartoon characters that have lasted way longer than I ever thought they would. They were around way before I was born, and with this new 2019 series, they're still going strong, being introduced to a whole new generation. Now I imagine Kellogg still has a license for Scooby-Doo, so maybe with this new Boomerang series coming this year, we could see a new Scooby-Doo cereal. That would be really cool, but I won't hold my breath even though it is a very easy thing to do. Let's bombard Kellogg's with tweets and emails and tell them how much we want a new Scooby-Doo cereal. But for now, I guess that's gonna do it for Scooby-Doo cereal. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, stay crunchy. Rut row, Scooby-Doo!